everyone it's elizabeth also known as lime essential beauty where lime disease essential oil and beauty all come together now before we get into the video i would like to just point out something so that people don't wonder as they're watching the video my shirt as you can tell is see-through therefore i have a tank top on underneath of it this is not my bra my bra straps this is a tank top wanted to get that out of the way so you didn't think I was sitting here with my bra on and a see-through shirt or sitting here staring at my bra straps for the entire video which I wouldn't want to do if I was you. In today's video, as I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail, we are going to be trying on and reviewing the Makeup Institute Oasis palette. I went ahead and did this eye off camera and the rest of my face obviously before I jumped on here because I think that seeing what the final result is allows me to follow along with the other steps easier. And so that's why I went ahead and did the first eye off camera and obviously I'll be doing this eye on camera. And despite the Terminator look that I have going, I don't know why it reminds me of looking like the Terminator because it's not like this side of my face is falling off or my eyeballs falling out. That's kind of gross. Whatever. But it does remind me of that part of the movie where like his face is all jacked up and his eyes all wonky and that's exactly what this reminds me of with makeup on one eye and no makeup on the other eye and it's just astounding how different it is it makes the whole side look completely different than this side okay so that I don't continue to look at myself and think of the Terminator we're gonna go ahead and get started on the review tutorial try on of the Oasis palette from the Makeup Institute what I showed you first was the outer sleeve you can see it says Makeup Institute. It has the marbled look of the different colors. And this right here is the signature of Henry, who is the founder of Hank and Henry Beauty. He also started the Makeup Institute. Hank and Henry Beauty, if you've seen my channel before, you know that I love that brand. And this is what it looks like, just in case you forgot, needed to be reminded. This card came with the palette. This details the Hank and Henry subscription boxes. It comes out every two months and it is $37 a month. You get six products and the retail value is $130 minimum. It is an amazing box and I would highly recommend if you're going to subscribe to a subscription box to choose this one. I will leave the link below for Hank and Henry Beauty so that you can go on there and look at his, I'm a little hot, products and sign up for the subscription box if you want. I have no affiliate code. I, I just absolutely love the products. So when I found out that Henry started the Makeup Institute and they were putting out products, I of course had to get them. The first thing I ever got from there is this Makeup Institute glitter palette. This is the long wear glitter palette and this is what it looks like. And the colors are just amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. The inside also looks identical to the outer packaging with the Makeup Institute logo and the marbling of the different pastel colors. On the back you have the ingredients right here and then when you open it up you see there is a good size mirror and also these are the colors that come in it the one thing that is not included in this are shade names so what we are going to do is I am going to zoom you guys in I'm gonna start completing this eye we'll do some swatches and just chat and go from there the other thing that's a little strange though about the palette is that nowhere on this palette does it say the name of it so the only reason I know it's the Oasis palette is because I watched uh, Hank and Henry on his Facebook Live and on my receipt that came with it, it says Oasis palette. Let's go ahead and get started. The first color I'm gonna go into is this color right here. I am gonna go ahead and go all over my eye with that and just take that and lay it down as a base. 
The other thing that I did with this light color right here is I went ahead and I took it and I used it to set my eyebrows. I always like to set my eyebrows so that they don't move throughout the day or get smudged. Okay, we just went ahead, I used a big fluffy brush. This is a Wet n Wild brush and I use this brush pretty much every time I put on my makeup. The next color we're gonna go into is this color right here. It is an orangey brown and this is is a blending slash flat brush is the best way I know how to describe it. This is the Morphe M434. And what I like about this brush is I will go in and I will tap it and then I will just go ahead and I will just stamp it into place here. As you can see, there is a lot of product that comes off on the brush. I am just gonna pack this in right where that indentation where that bone is and your eye socket thingy my bobber place. I don't know what it's called. And then I am just going to blend that lightly. And as I do this look, there is going to be a lot of back and forth between the different colors as I blend. One tip so that the inner part of your eye does not get super dark, and for me, it doesn't look so great if that happens, is that I will start applying the shadow on the outer part of my eye and then just pat it on the lid and go in towards the inner part. And as I go towards the inner part of my eye, I pat lighter than I do when I'm on the outside. And to blend this out, I will use circular motions and then wiping motions and I will go very lightly across the top because what I don't want to do is blend it up into my eyebrow. However, there is an exception. <laughs> of course there's an exception. I have hooded eyes. What that means is that when I close my eyes, all of this area right in here disappears. So that means that I have to apply my shadow a little higher and I do like to take this part up close to the brow. As you can see on this side it's up higher than on the end and this I feel opens up my eye a lot and then I just start blending and I'll blend that up there. The next color that I'm going to use from the palette is the yellow right here. I am going in with the Morphe Jeffree Star brush. I'm going to use the yellow and go right on top of that orangey brown color. I am going to be going back and forth between the colors just to build up the intensity of the shades but yet blend them out as I go. I'm going to finish blending out these two colors, the orangey brown and the yellow. And when I get to the next color, I'll bring you guys back on so that you don't have to sit here and just watch me blend. This is blended out pretty good for right now. I know that it's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be at this point because we're going to be doing more and more blending as we add more and more colors. The next color that I'm going to go into is this color right here, which is kind of a brownish, reddish, orange color I believe and I am going to take this and use it as my crease color and again because my eyes are hooded I would just apply it directly to the crease right there and then open my eye you wouldn't see it at all so what I have to do is I have to bring it up above my crease and then I will look up and into the mirror to see if I can actually see it this is an elf eyeshadow brush this is just a flat brush and I do like to use the flat brush to go into the crease to blend out that darker color that I just used. I like to go back in with the shade right above it which in this case is this orange color and I will just go in and lightly blend out that darker shade with the lighter shade and then to blend out what I added of the orange color I will go back in with the yellow color to blend out the extra part of that. So now I am going to continue to build up and blend those three colors and when I get to the next color I'll come back so again you don't just sit here and watch me blend. All right, this is blended out pretty good for right now. The next thing I want to do is add a little depth to this outer corner of the eye. And for that, we are going to go into this color right here. It is a shimmer, and I don't normally use a shimmer on the outer corner of the eye, but we are going to make an exception this time because this is the darkest shade in the palette, actually. And going on the outer corner of the eye, just to give it some 
depth and dimension. I'm also going to take it in the crease, but I do come up a slight bit as you can tell because I do want that color to be slightly noticeable. And this brush that I'm using is a, sorry I forgot to tell you, this is just a little, this is a dense crease brush and this is a, you can't really read it, but this is a Luxie flat angled brush. I don't know if you can tell, but it is slightly angled here, and that actually fits my eye right here perfectly. What I'm going to do now, I am going to finish darkening up this outer corner, blending everything out a little bit more, and then I'll be back for the next one. We have this all blended out pretty nicely. And so the next part is the lid. What I'm gonna use for the lid is this reddish shimmer color right here. What I'm doing is I'm just going in with another flat brush and I'm gonna go ahead and start applying that all over the lid. I am going to apply a bunch onto the brush. I'm going to take a setting spray and I am going to wet that just to bring out some more of that color. I am just following my lid going all the way to the outer part to where that darker color meets. I will go ahead and go in and touch up the darker color on the outer edge. Let's go ahead and touch up the outer shades a little tiny bit just so that we don't lose that depth and dimension. I'm going to use just a tiny bit of that darker reddish brown too. Ooh, that would have been bad. That was the wrong one. That's what happens when you hold all your brushes in your hand. This is not showing up very well on my eyelid. It's a little bit dark. If you take this pink color, rosy color up here, and you apply that over top of that red, it becomes much more noticeable. I am going to apply some of that pinky color dry and then I'm going to go in and go ahead apply some on the brush like I did the darker color, wet that with the setting spray and then go back in. And then I'm going to use my finger just to blend it out a little bit more. Now this is where I get to be a little bit extra. I will go back in with the darker color and almost frame out the center of the eyelid. The reason that I do this is that by allowing the center to be a little lighter, it makes your eyes look bigger. It is not hugely noticeable, but enough so that it does look a little lighter in the center. You do not have to do this step. I tend to be a little extra when I do my eyes. Plus, I'm trying to use as many of the colors in the palette as possible. So what I'm going to do now is go in with this champagne -y color. I'm going to take some on my ring finger, and I'm just going to dab that in the center also. I'm going to go ahead and blend that just by tapping all along. Now what I'm going to do, look at how bright my highlighter looks on my nose. It looks like my nose is glowing. Before I get into my liner, mascara, and lashes, I want to do a few more steps with the colors in the palette. I want to go ahead and highlight my brow bone. I'm going to go back in with that champagne color right here. I'm going on a thin pencil brush. This is the BH Cosmetics 132 brush. And I'm just going to hit the top of my brow bone and go down. And then what I like to do is I like to blend that a little bit. So I'll go in with the yellow and I will just slightly blend all that in. I like to, before I do the inner part of the eye, I like to do, what is this called? My under eye? Sure, under eye. I'm going to do beneath the lower lashes. I'm going in first with a flat brush that is very dense. And this is the Morphe Y21. I'm going to go in with that darker shimmer. So we're just going in very close to the lower lash line and blending that with where the darker color is on the outer corner of the eye just to give it a more seamless look. Next, I'm going to go in with the brush that has that rusty orange color. I'm not going to add any product to it. I'm just just going to blend that out. I'm taking a, another pencil brush. This is the BH Cosmetics 105 and I am going to go ahead and go into this green metallic right here and I am going to go underneath that darker color with that green. I'm going to go in with the darker orangey browny reddy color and I'm also going to hit right underneath that lash line again. Pop a tiny bit more of the dark metallic on there. We just have the inner eye to do now. To continue on using more colors in the palette, we are going to go in 
with this gold shimmer here and I am going to take that on a another little pencil brush. This is the Morphe M455 and I'm going to go in and go ahead and just roll it in the gold a little bit. Then I'm going to take it on the inner corner of my eye and just bring it down ever so slightly right here and I am just bringing this into the corner and up a little bit. Just kind of going in a little circle right there. This is a little darker for my actual inner inner corner than I like so I will go in with the other pencil brush that we use for under the brow. I will go back into this champagne -y color right here. I will just get a little bit on the brush and then I will just dab over that inner corner to give me the look that I want. And so there we have it. That is the eye look using the Oasis palette. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to jump off camera. I'm going to finish doing my liner, my mascara, and my lash for this eye and then I will be right back. Okay, here we have it. Lashes, liner, everything done. Now I am no longer the Terminator and both eyes look the same and I really like how this turned out. I'm gonna zoom you guys out and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the Oasis palette. I really, I really like this palette and I would definitely recommend it. This palette is great because it has 12 shades total, six mattes, six shimmers and it gives you a wide variety variety of different colors and so you can do a little bit more of a colorful look or you can even very easily do a much more natural toned down look. The matte shades are very blendable, they're very creamy and you get a lot of pigment from them. The shimmer shades also have a lot of pigment, they're very easy to build up. I don't mind having to build up colors a little bit as long as they blend well, which these do, and there wasn't any fallout from the colors. All in all, I'm very happy with it, especially considering considering that you get 12 shades. This was $25 item for 12 shades that are really good and work great and blend great. I couldn't be happier. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. So until then, but before I go, oh, I'm bad at this. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video and like this type of video where I'm reviewing new palettes, especially ones from indie brands like this, please give the video a thumbs up. Next to the subscribe subscribe button is a bell. If you could please click on that bell, it'll give you three options and you want to hit the bell at the top because that will allow you to be notified every time I upload a video. So I just want to thank you for joining me again and until next time, bye.